Hello. Painting kitchen cabinets is a fantastic idea. I've done it many times myself and I know many of you have as well. I'm just going to give you some ideas about what you should do. First of all, remove all the, um, the, the hardware, um, then give it a good clean. In a kitchen, you don't know what's splashed on it. There could be all sorts of oils, all sorts of stuff. So uh, just warm water and a simple soap, no chemicals, because you don't know what that will do to the paint. I'm doing old ochre. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of, the paint's been open for a little bit, so, so it needs a little bit of water. I'm going to use this brush, which is my flat, wide brush, and get a good supply of paint on there, not too far. So about that, I've already done one uh, of these cabinets and I know that I've used two coats. This is the end grain of the wood and the end grain I always find needs a little bit more paint. So I'm going to put quite a lot of paint on there and then I'm going to spread it out as far as I can. You'll notice I'm not painting like that. I'm painting with the end of the brush and I'm painting every direction. It's absorbing in quite a lot. Now I'm going to start feathering it. This is very, very pleasing to do because as you do it, the surface becomes smoother and smoother as you feather out. I'm someone who loves texture. I also do really appreciate getting a very smooth, even, beautiful finish. The brush is just hitting the paint. It's not pressing down. It's just hitting like that and you're going across. I mean, it's really, really light and it's done with a very small amount of paint and it's usually done quickly. So, uh, all ready now. This is dry, second coat's done. It's looking really, really gorgeous. Now I'm going to wax it. I'm going to use my clear wax. Uh, some people think you should varnish, use lacquer, whatever you call it. Um, I would really recommend wax very, very strongly. For me, it's just the best. It's got a beautiful finish and it's very, very strong. So I'm ready to go. Here's my brush, my wax brush, um, into there, getting some good amount of wax on there, not too much. The thing you want to do is you don't want to rub too hard. You don't want to, you just want to make certain that the, the wax goes into the paint. That's what it's, um, that's what it's all about and going into corners, making certain you go into corners. I usually have a cloth with me just to remove the excess um, or any specks of dust or anything that goes into there. I'll do one, two, three coats probably to make it really, really strong, um, leaving a good gap between each layer so that the wax has time to harden at least a day. Um, a week is really fantastic if you can. So I did one yesterday and that's all been painted and waxed. So it's now ready for me to polish it. And I'm able to take some cotton cloth and just start uh, polishing it. Um, sometimes it's called buffing, buffing or polishing. And what it does is, is make it shine. And it shouldn't take a lot to get a nice sheen to it. There's very little effort here. This is getting, to me, it's got a, a really beautiful mellow sheen. For cleaning purposes, what you wouldn't do is put any bleach on it. You would just wipe with soap and water for anything that you need to remove. Um, no bleach, bleach will just eat right through it. Um, and really, it requires very little upkeep. If you do have a problem, you can re-wax it. But you, it's not an obligation, it's just something you might want to do. Um, but it will give you a beautiful finish and very solid and very strong. Mm -hmm.